Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. This video I'm going to put out on YouTube. Uh, typically, I post updates to the MCOM Tools project on Buy Me a Cup of Coffee. It'll be listed there as well, but uh, I just want to give you guys uh, a video because I've hit an important milestone with that project where I finally have proven that the prototype is working and now I can actually work on making the application more robust. So for those of you who are not familiar with MCOM Tools, it is an API and web application for field operators uh, in the amateur radio space. And it was designed with a few goals in mind. Uh, the first being I want to be able to have all of the capabilities be 100% offline and off-grid. That means no uh, tie to the internet or cellular phone infrastructure. Number two, I wanted it to be able to run on extremely small devices like my iPhone 8. So um, the constraints that are placed on me are constrained by the size of these devices. And actually, it's making the product be a whole lot more uh, useful in the field. Uh, number three, uh, field expedient. And actually, that's sort of more like number one. But I do a lot of uh, operations out in the field for soda and just in general playing radio uh, in the backcountry, and I want to be able to have one-click operations to send a WinLink email or send an APRS text message to my wife. And I think that my tests have shown that that's all 100% viable and working great. And before I started this project, the other thing that I wanted to do was have the ability to do offline lookups. And I have taken my experience as a search engineer building search engines and built an extremely set of lightweight databases that run 100% on the Raspberry Pi. And I have a small copy of the FCC database with a subset of active licensee data. And basically right now it's just first name, uh, call sign, zip code, city and state. And it gives me enough information to do some really powerful uh, things while keeping the database very small and lean. Um, so let's talk about some of the new features that I've added. Uh, so first and foremost, I do have GPS integration since this is running 100% on a Raspberry Pi. And with that, I'm able to calculate my grid square. I'm in DM33, for example. And I've also added the ability to do call sign lookups. And since I have the zip code of the uh, licensee in my small search index, I've also tied that to a zip code to geolocation data set. So there's another index that allows me to find at the zip code level, the geo coordinates. So with that piece of information, I can be out in the field. I have my known GPS location because of the GPS dongle, and I can actually calculate the distance point to point as the crow flies from my location to the other licensee's zip code. And it's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick demo here. And uh, I'll fire up the app. And uh, as you can see here, I've got my geo coordinates where I'm currently located right now. I have my uh, grid square, DM33. And if we scroll down a bit, we should be able to go to the call lookup. And we'll go ahead and just do a couple with some of the YouTubers that I like. Uh, we'll see where Jason KM4ACK um, is located and how far roughly. So let's go ahead and enter that information. And as you can see here, he's over a thousand miles from my location. And then let's go ahead and do it with um, another call sign. Uh, let's do uh, Red Summit RF Charlie. And uh, he's a local. And uh, this is where the metrics start to get a little bit um, less accurate because we're so close. Um, my location and the zip location could be off by probably you know tens of miles, depending on the size of your zip code. But uh, you get the point here. In the field now, I have the ability to uh, see where I'm propagating into, see who I can hear, how far away they are. So it's a very um, viable tool for me in the field on a very low power device. And on that note, I want to make sure everybody's clear. This application uh, is designed to run on a Raspberry Pi. So I have installed, uh, I think it was uh, Buster or whatever version of Raspbian on there. I'm just running the traditional um, ham radio software like Pat Winlink, Yak for my APRS client, Direwolf, and a few other pieces. And then I have some custom software, uh, an API, and a web application that run on the Pi. And all I do is connect to it from my phone to the Pi's hotspot. And that's it. So any 
desktop computer, laptop, tablet, phone that has a web browser can actually connect to this Pi in the field and get all of these capabilities. So all the secret sauce is on the Pi. So the only requirement for this project is um, Raspberry Pi. I'm using the 3B Plus uh, just because I have a small fleet of them. Uh, the CPU is running a bit hot these days, so I'm actually going to put the MCOM tool software development on hold for a bit. I'm going to work on getting the CPU temperature down. Uh, so far, the highest I've seen the CPU run is at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. At any rate, guys, I didn't want this to be a long video, but I just wanted to share with you some of the new capabilities that are available in MCOM tools. And I am planning on doing a release, a beta in fall timeframe. And uh, if you want to follow along on uh, kind of short videos uh, week to week, uh, buy me a cup of coffee slash the tech prepper is where I do those 30 second to up, upwards of three minute posts sometimes. And uh, we'll fill you in there. But I wanted to share this with the broader YouTube community because you guys are amazing and I love all the channel support. All right, guys, I'm the tech prepper. Be strong, be safe and be prepared.